In this video, we will look at remote access to Home Assistant, specifically using Tailscale. This is part of a series. In future videos, we will look at other solutions. There are advantages and disadvantages of using Tailscale. The advantages are that the install process is very simple. There are no configuration options. You install it, log in once, and that's it as far as Home Assistant is concerned. You can install on almost any device, and for those that you can't install on, you can install the application on any device on the same network and use a function called a subnet router. It runs as a VPN on a mobile device. It's also free, but with limitations. The main disadvantage is that for more than one user, there's a cost involved. For two to five users, it costs $5 per user per month and $15 per user over this, unless you sign up to the community on GitHub plan. This gives you 25 users, but five devices per user. This is one of the easiest ways to connect to your Home Assistant instance. The install process almost involves no configuration. You log on once and that's it. You don't even need to install it on Home Assistant. It works with a number of other devices, for instance firewalls such as PFSense and OpenSense. It can also run on a NAS such as those from Synology or QNAP, as well as Unraid and TrueNAS. To install on Home Assistant, go to Settings, Add-ons, and click on the Add-on Store button. Scroll down or search for Tailscale. Click on it. Click Install. There's no configuration, so no need to visit the configuration page. Enable Start on Boot, Watchdog, and Auto Update. We don't need to add the sidebar. Click Start. Wait a few seconds. Then open Web UI. If you get any issues at this point, restart your Home Assistant installation and try starting again. You'll be prompted to sign in using your identity provider, such as Google, Microsoft, or GitHub. If you don't already have a Tailscale account, it'll create one for you. Give it permission and wait for authorization successful. Tailscale is now installed and you can set this up on other devices such as a mobile phone. To manage Tailscale, visit login.tailscale.com. You should see Home Assistant there. If you click on Home Assistant, it takes you to another screen where you can review route settings and you can enable subnet routes. You can also install the Tailscale app on a mobile phone so that you could administer Home Assistant from outside your home. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at my Patreon. The details are below.